Hi, I'm Rory and this is my son. Frankie. And we love getting outside to look for teeny tiny creatures that live in bushes and hide in long grass. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Squeak, squeak. And I'm Chantel. I can't wait to find out more about a teeny tiny creature with a really useful tail. Can you guess what it is? Down in the grass, what can you see? The landing and flowers, the living and trees. Up in the air, they're buzzing around. They're hiding in rock pools, they're under the ground. So busy working day and night, and nature's wonderful web of life. Chantel and Rory's teeny tiny creatures everywhere we look. They might be tiny, shiny, creepy, slimy, but they do our planet good. Chantel and Rory's teeny tiny creatures never far from sight. Chantel and Rory's teeny tiny creatures working day and night. And nature's wonderful web of life. Who wants to find out about teeny tiny creatures today? It's Bella! Hello, I'm Bella. I'm four years old. I want to know about marvellous mice. Brilliant choice, Bella. There are six different kinds of mice in the UK, and the tiniest of them all is a harvest mouse. A grown-up mouse weighs as little as a two-pence coin, making it the UK's smallest rodent. It has pale orange fur with white on its tummy, rounded hairy ears, a blunt nose and small eyes. A mouse is a mammal, an animal which breathes air, has a bone in its back, grows hair and gets milk from its mummy when it's a baby. But what is really amazing is that the harvest mouse is the only British mammal to have a prehensile tail. That's a tail that can grasp and work like an extra hand. It can climb, wrap and hang from the grass with this very handy tail. The mouse you find most in the UK is the wood mouse. Sometimes it's also called the field mouse. They have brown fur with a pale tummy, large black eyes, big ears, a long tail and large back feet, which are good for leaping. Hi. <laughs> Today we're at Briarlands Farm Park, but we're not looking for pigs and goats. What are we looking for today, Sandy? We are looking for mice. Yes, we're trying to track down wood mice today. And where do you think we're going to find them? Over by the trees. Yes, of course. Wood mice live near woods. Where else might we find them, Sandy? In long grass and bushes. Yeah, that's right. They like to hide in long grass and among the bushes. And if you're really lucky, you might even see one in your garden. Now, Sandy, I am just going to look for them with my eyes. But I think you can maybe use this. <laughs> A magnifying glass. <laughs> Come on. Whoop. Let's go. Right, Sandy, this looks like the perfect spot for wood mice. We've got some nice trees. You see any wood mice around here? No. Nothing there? No. Yeah. Sandy, what do you know about wood mice? They like to then step up past. Yeah, they like to scurry around like this. <laughs> Good scurrying. Yes, wood mice are super fast and they love to run around underneath cover of leaves and bushes so that predators, other creatures that might like to eat them, can't find them. Things like foxes and owls. And Sandy, do you know how they can escape from owls? No. It's very clever. They can lose some skin from their tails so they can drop out the claws of an owl. Wow. Right, Sandy, we're going to play a little game. One of us is going to be an owl and one is going to be a mouse and the owl is going to chase the mouse. What are you going to be? The mouse, because I will win. Oh, you think so? Well, we'll see about that. <laughs> I'm the owl. Right, ready? Three, two, one, go! <laughs> To oh, you made it! You beat me! What a good mouse you are. Now, Sandy, we are going to do a very important job here. We're going to become poo detectives. We're looking for mouse poo. Do you know what mouse poo looks like? No. Have a good look around. Mouse poo looks like a little grain of rice, except that it is dark brown in colour. Look, that's a poo. That's a poo, but it doesn't belong to a mouse, does it? It's too big. 
That poo's even bigger than a mouse. Yeah. Oh well, no mice, Sandy. I think that must be because they're nocturnal, right? Yeah. They like to sleep during the day. Let's find out more about wonderful wee wood mice with Bella. How do mice find food outside? Well, Bella, mice can't go to the supermarket like you or I would to get food. Instead, they have to forage, which means to look for food. Some mice eat nuts, bugs, fruit, fungi and insects. They are not big fans of cheese and would much prefer seeds or nuts to give them lots of energy. Do mice hibernate? The harvest mouse and wood mouse don't hibernate, but there are other mice that do. Hibernate means to have a long rest through the winter. It looks a lot like they're sleeping. In autumn, they look for a good place to rest in logs, leaves, near a tree or underneath the ground. They hibernate because there's less food around. Some mice even snore. How many babies do mice have? Harvest mice usually have between three to eight babies. The mum mouse makes a round nest in the grass to keep them safe and warm. When the babies are born, they don't have any hair and are only as big as a raisin. They are ready to leave the nest to go exploring when they are 11 days old and are fully grown at just 17 days old. Marvellous mice questions, Bella. I've come here to Ealing Wildlife Group to meet some gorgeous harvest mice and to see what they can do with their special little tails. Come on, let's find out more. Harvest mice are becoming more and more rare in the UK. That means there aren't many of them left. This is Sean from the Ealing Wildlife Group. They're helping harvest mice by giving them a safe place to have their babies. Then once the babies have grown bigger, they can be set free in the countryside. And Mossy, Gabriel and Kara are here to help too. Hi, Sean. Hi, Chantal. Hi, Mossy. Hi, Gabriel. Hi, Kara. Hi, Chantal. It's lovely to meet you. So who do we have in this tank today? Harvest mice. <laughs> Amazing. And aren't they absolutely teeny tiny and gorgeous? Yes. So, Sean, what are we doing here today? The kids are going to help me make some soft release pens. So, guys, if you want to put some wood shavings and some straw and some food into the tank, nice little mouse hotel. And tell us more about soft release pens. Why do we need them? These mice are going out into the wild, so the pens give them a little safe space to come back for shelter, for food and a little bit of water as well. Can you tell us why you love harvest mice so much? They're quite a rare species nowadays, and they're also Britain's smallest rodent. They've got a prehensile tail, the only mammal in the UK with a prehensile tail. They use it to wrap around grass stalks and twigs and they use it to climb. So pretty much like little monkeys. Kind of like spider monkeys, yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Guys, how are you getting on? Do you want to put some straw in for them to hide in? And you see the little wicker pockets? Fill them up with straw, that will make their bed. Why do you breed them here, Sean? We're reintroducing them back into the wild. We've released 25 so far and we're releasing 150 next month. Wow, that's amazing work that you're doing here. Thank you. Well, I think we're ready to go release some mice. Are we ready to release some mice, yeah. guys? Yeah. They're ready. I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> Sean has put three baby mice into the release pen, and we're about to find a lovely hedgerow that they can all call home. OK, I think this could be a good place in here. OK, you ready? Look, oh, there it goes, look. Bye, Mouse, good luck. Perfectly placed on the plant, Mossy. OK, you're going to pop him on your hand and he's going to go. Oh, he's gone. That was a good one. Well done, Kara. OK, you ready? OK. Now, pop him up on the plant. Bye, Mouse. Bye. Say bye, guys. Bye. Well done, Gabriel. Bye, Mouse. OK, guys, let's leave them to it, yeah? You guys did a great job. Well done. We're leaving the pen where we set the mice free so they can have a nice, warm, safe place to sleep. Thank you so much, Sean, Mossy, Gabriel and Cara. You're welcome, Chantel. Harvest mice aren't just cute. They have an important job to do for our woods. Wood mice, sometimes called field mice, are omnivorous which means they like to eat plants and creatures. They love nibbling on tree seeds, fruit, nuts and fungi. And enjoy bugs and insects too, such as worms, caterpillars, snails and centipedes. 
They also eat the creatures that eat crops and upset farmers. As part of the food web, they can be dinner for bigger animals like owls, foxes and weasels. But if there aren't very many wood mice, then this affects their predators too. No food for their hungry tummies. Wood mice are brilliant for our woods, as they help to plant new trees. This happens when they forget all about their buried seeds. These seeds then grow into fantastic new trees. As well as giving teeny tiny creatures homes, trees are important for the planet, giving us oxygen and helping animals to breathe. Wood mice are super helpful for our environment, even if they are at times slightly forgetful. Mice are marvellous, how can we help them? Well, Bella, we know that harvest mice love to build round-shaped nests made out of long grass, but they might find it tricky to do in the cold and wet weather. So, I have a teeny tiny task that you can do to help harvest mice and our planet. Rory and Sandy, today's teeny tiny task is to build a harvest mouse house out of an old tennis ball. You'll need a tennis ball, straw, scissors and a pen. Have fun! A mouse house sounds like a brilliant idea, Chantel. And Sandy, it just so happens I've brought a tennis ball along with me today. Catch! Oh! <laughs> you got it! We want to encourage mice to nest because they help plant trees and also eat the pests that eat farmers' plants. Now, Sandy, that looks like a lovely tennis ball home, but what are we going to need to do so that mice can live in it? A little door. A little door. Now, I wonder if you can help me. I've got a pen here. Can you draw a little circle on that about the size of a strawberry? Oh, wow. That's a good size strawberry, isn't it? Yeah. OK, give that to Dad and I will chop it. Now, I've got some scissors here. Now, if you're doing this teeny tiny task at home, make sure you get a grown-up to help with this bit. Right, that looks good. Tidy up the edges. There we are. How's that looking? Is that a good-sized door now? Yeah. Now, is that going to be very comfortable for the mice? No. What do you think we need to put in it now? Straw. Yeah. Why do we need to put straw inside? To make it nice and warm. Yes. Got some straw here. Here, right, you pop the straw inside. Not too much. Good job. Excellent work. Looking good, what do you think, Sandy? Nice. Excellent. Well, we can pop this in our garden at home, but why don't we test it out here to see if it's going to work? Yeah. Yeah, come on. OK, where do you think is going to be a good spot for it? Up there. Oh, yeah, pop it in there. That looks great. A perfect place for a harvest mouse to sleep, rest, or even have their own wee babies. Wouldn't that be cute? <laughs> why don't you try this teeny tiny task? and make a little home for harvest mice. What, what do you think, think Chantel? Wow, that is fabulous. Your harvest mouse house will keep them cosy and dry. That's all we've got time for today, but we'll see you soon. Bye. 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 Thanks, Chantel. Bye. Bye. We've met Chantal and Rory's teeny tiny creatures. Let's wriggle like a